Hey everyone, I'm Ashley from Naked Soul Cooking on a mission to help the plant-based community veganize your favorite soul food and comfort food recipes. I'm so glad to be partnering with Emerald and to get started, let's jump straight to everybody's favorite comfort food, burgers. Now of course we have all these options, right? You can go to whatever supermarket you're gonna go to, grab Beyond Beef or a Boca Burger, but why do that when we can make our own at home? So we're gonna grab just a couple of cans of beans with some seasonings, some produce, and get right to it. So we're gonna get started by cutting up our onion. And we're gonna toss it all in here. We went with about half of a yellow onion, so now we're gonna take our jarred minced garlic. We're gonna go with one heaping tablespoon. And then we're gonna go over here with just one regular can of black beans. Make sure you drain them pretty well before going into here because the mixture will be way too wet otherwise. So now that we have that done, we are going to season this up. Nobody wants bland burgers. My favorite seasoning to go to for things like this is poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning has kind of everything under the sun you need. I'd say about a tablespoon as a base, again, that's totally based off of your own preference. Then, to give it that really kind of savory um, taste that, you know, when you bite into a burger, it's super juicy. We're gonna go with two things. One is balsamic vinegar. So, we're gonna go with about a tablespoon of this. Now, we're gonna go with soy sauce next. If you are trying to stay soy free, your best bet is to go with some kind of aminos. As it even says right here, it's the natural soy sauce alternative. And then, we are going to add one teaspoon of infused oil. Don't ever wanna go too heavy with this when we are cooking just because you don't know how quickly it'll hit your system. Everybody is built differently. So now, this is what I call my stress relief. We're gonna get our masher and we're gonna go in there. Okay, now we have our nice paste. We're gonna go in with our oat flour. I tend to use maybe about a whole cup of oat flour, but I'm gonna measure it out about a half a cup at a time, just until it's the texture I like. Because if it dries out too much, then we gotta start all over again. We have enough in there for about four patties, so we're gonna just take it in our hands, form it up. So we're gonna just let these sit for about five minutes, and then we will hop over to the stove to get these fried up. I'm gonna take just a little bit of vegetable oil, kinda of swirl this around a little bit. We're gonna just take our burgers one by one. Pop them right in there. We're gonna just let that sear, maybe a, a couple of minutes on each side. Guys, look at that. It's holding up so beautifully, no crumbles. I'm gonna just rest it to the side while I fry up the other one. Now, while that fries up, I'm gonna just cut up a couple of more onion slices. We're gonna toss those right in there. So, for this little bit of onion jam, all we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit of soy sauce on here to help those caramelize a little bit. We're gonna go over there with the balsamic. And really, that's all you need. You don't want it to be too seasoned, because remember, we have a lot of flavor going on in the burgers, and we don't wanna take away from that. But now, these are gonna cook up and soften. And I'm loving how soft and caramelized those looks. So now it's time for us to build our burger. Tell me that these are not just looking so ready to dip into. We're going to first start, gonna add a little bit of spinach. We're gonna put this bad boy right here. Put this one right here. We're gonna slap that there, slap that there. Now we're gonna take these ones with our onion jam. We're gonna plop them right here. A Little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard. Just the littlest bit of mayo. Guys, look at that. Why would you go to a fast food restaurant or a diner when you know you can make this yourself? You know that there's no soy, no tofu, no pea protein isolate, whatever it is they're putting in the things you'll find in the freezer. When we could just whip this up with literally a can of beans, onion, garlic, some seasoning, and just a little bit of time. So by all means, I want you guys to sink your teeth into this and enjoy. I'll see you guys soon.